Good day, I'm Dr. Pierre Janssen van Vieren from MSD Animal Health and today I'm going to talk to you about the correct application techniques for certain animal health products. Before starting with any animal handling or treatment protocol, make sure that the facilities that you use are in good working condition. This decreases the time of the animal spent in the crash as well as stress. It also decreases the chance of injury for the handler. Also make sure that before you use any product, you read the package insert with regards to dosage, administration and any other special precautions. It's advised to make sure that all equipment, product and facilities are ready to go before you start handling the animals. This reduces time spent in the crash by the animals as well as stress on the animals and the animal handlers. The next technique I'm going to discuss is subcutaneous injection in the sheep. Two areas are normally used, the neck area and the area just behind the elbow. Most commonly used is the neck area and the area to inject into is demarcated by the, the vertebrae on the neck, the point of the shoulder and the jugular groove right in the middle. For the subcut injection, take the skin, pull it away and tent it and at the base of the tent insert the needle inject and remove. The next technique I'm going to discuss is intramuscular injection in the sheep. Two areas are commonly used, the buttocks area and the neck area. More commonly used is the neck area. When administering an intramuscular injection, make sure that you use a very sharp, clean, short needle. The area that we're going to use is demarcated by the bottom of the vertebrae the point of the shoulder and above the jugular groove, right in the middle. Make sure that the needle and injector is perpendicular to the area that you want to inject to. Quick jab, inject and release. The next technique I'm going to discuss is spot treatment in sheep. Take the total dosage, divide it into four and make sure that you treat the axilla and the groin area. The next technique I'm going to demonstrate is drenching in the sheep. Make sure that the animal is properly restrained as to minimize stress on the animal. Make sure that the dose gun that you're using is correctly calibrated and free of spurs or any hooks that might injure the animal in the drenching process. Insert the nozzle facing to the cheek side, drench and make sure that the animal swallows. The next technique we're going to discuss is the ear implant in sheep. It's again very important to make sure that the animal is correctly restrained and cannot move too much because that will limit injury with regards to the animal as well as the handler. The implant is placed between the two cartilages on the ear on the outside underneath the skin. Before this is done make sure that the ear is clean and free of any feces or mud as we don't want to insert bacteria into the wound. After removing the needle, pinch the hole for a few seconds to make sure that that hole is closed so that the implant cannot escape. 